Welcome. If you're watching this video, then you have the lucky opportunity to soon experience the power of the most comprehensive food allergy and sensitivity test in the world, the P88 DIY Dietary Antigen Test. In your kit, you'll find the following. Four lancets, two gauze pads, four bandages, one four sampler clamshell device, one silver specimen bag, one UPS lab pack with shipping label, one sticker label for clamshell device. You should also have a signed and completed requisition form from the doctor or licensed medical professional that ordered your test. The P88 DIY collection is simple. First, unpack and prepare your kit contents. Then, twist off lancet caps. Tear open the silver specimen bag. Remove the clamshell device. Unwrap gauze and unpeel the back of the bandages. From there, you can begin. Step one, wash your hands with warm and soapy water. Make sure to get a good, clean lather for at least 30 seconds. Step two. Next, you need to warm your hands by rubbing them together, walking or jumping, or any other method you prefer. Warming your hands is important for good blood flow. Step three, select the finger you will use. We have found that the ring finger on either hand works best. Step four, prick your finger by laying your hand on a hard surface and positioning your finger to the side like so. Apply firm pressure to the end of the lancet until a click is heard. Be firm and be intentional. Step five, you want to wipe away the first blood drop with gauze. The blood drop may take 20 seconds to form, so be patient. If needed, you can gently massage your pricked finger until the blood drop forms. You may find that after a few drops of blood, it works best to do another round of gauze to help blood flow. Step six, now you're ready to collect a sample by touching one of the four sampling tips to the blood drop. First, watch it turn fully red. Next, count for two seconds. Lastly, slowly remove the tip from the blood. Repeat this process with other three sampling tips. We cannot stress enough that you need to ensure the sampling tips are filled correctly. You don't want to have to do this again unnecessarily. Undersampling occurs when, one, the sampling tip is removed from the blood too soon, and two, blood flow stops. To prevent removing the tip too soon, touch the tip to the blood until no white remains. If blood flow stops, repeat steps four to six with the same tip until fully red. Step seven, after the test is complete, set the device down on a firm surface like a table and apply a bandage to your finger. As you can see, the blood may still be flowing, which is why it is essential that you partially open the bandage before performing the collection. Step eight, now you can close and label your device. Just lift the sides to meet at the top, press together until a click is heard and place your label sticker on the clamshell. Make sure you label your name, date of birth, collection date, and collection time. Step nine. Now you can simply insert the device back into the silver specimen bag. Ensure the desiccant is in the bag to keep the specimen fresh. Step 10. Insert the specimen bag into the UPS lab pack with your signed and completed requisition form. Make sure you attach the UPS shipping label and drop it off at any UPS location. Be sure to not drop it in a UPS box. Once we receive your specimen, please allow seven to 10 days for processing and your doctor will receive your results in their portal. It's that easy. Thank you for choosing Precision Point Diagnostics as your specialty lab partner.